today what I want to do is just kind of show you how to get set up using Scratch 3.0 with the LEGO Mindstorms EV3. I know that the Scratch website here, the scratch.mit.edu backslash EV3 gives you everything you need, but sometimes it's helpful to kind of have a visual. So what I want to do is just help you make sure you know how it communicates, and then we can dive in into some future episodes of things that you can do, some projects that would make it very worthwhile to be using the EV3 Mindstorms with Scratch 3.0. And so I'm going to be using this website right here. Um, the link's in the show notes for you to follow along, and it really gives you everything you need. Um, but what you want to do, the very first thing, is choose your operating system, whether you're using a Windows device or a Mac device. In the case of this video, I'm using a Mac, and so depending on what you click, it's going to give you the proper link to download the Scratch link. So that's the very first thing that you need to do. Um, I have already have it downloaded for the sake of this video. And so I have it right here, this scratch link. And once I click on that, you're going to see this S with the little kind of Bluetooth signal up here to the top left on my screen. I know that I am in good shape for that. So I can go ahead and bounce down to step number two. So once you have that installed and turned on, then you move down. Now it's time to get our EV3 connected. And so um, I've already pushed on mine. I've already pushed about the button I've already got it powered on um, usually as you know the EV3 takes about 15 20 seconds to boot up mine's already booted up and I'm gonna go ahead and use the scratch editor just like it shows here so um, if I go to, to, to scratch alright I'm just gonna use this basic um, code right here get this platform up and running I'm just going to call this EV3 demo. And we're just going to go ahead and jump inside here. Just like it talked about, we're going to use the scratch editor and we have to add the extension. And the first time we do this, we're going to it's going to ask us to pair the EV3 with our device. And so when I go down here to this bottom left where all the extensions are, if you've used Scratch 3.0, you you know all these amazing extensions that exist. And we're going to click right here to this Lego Mindstorms EV3. Now once we do that, it's going to be looking for our device. You can see um, that it's searching because I haven't actually connected it before. And so what we need to do is we need to get it paired with our device. And so as we kind of search through this, you can see that it, it's not able to find our device. And so I'm going to, oh, there it is. It finally found it there. And once I had it, sometimes you have to refresh that a couple of times I found with some of my bricks. Once we see this here, this is the name of my brick that's on my, on my device. I know it's a little hard to see in the video, but I have this one called EV3. Um, and you can rename that in the, the lab view software. Um, but once I do that, I'm going to click this connect. All right, and make sure the pin on your EV3 is set to one, two, three, four. I can see that it says one, two, three, four. It's already kind of default right there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Okay, then you can see here on my computer screen, for the same thing, I have to type in one, two, three, four, and we're going to connect, and there we go, we are connected, we are in great shape, so now we can go to the editor, and now we have our options of using the LEGO EV3 blocks to create some code. And it's as simple as that, and now we have some sample projects and things like that that we can do. So that is a kind of quick run-through of how to connect the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 with Scratch 3.0.